Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well. Today is my second installment of the Pokey People, bringing you Ivysaur in all of her glory. For this one, I already did this sketch beforehand and just took a picture and outlined it instead of doing it as I went, which sometimes I get bored and I just like to start on the next one, so I draw it out on paper because I'm not at my computer. So that's why that's like that. Today, I also wanted to try doing a topic for my videos instead of doing um, talking about the piece. So I wanted to talk about why I'm doing this and my future goals for the channel and myself, really. Why I'm doing this. Mostly because I want to get better at art and I want to have a series under my belt. I've always had a love-hate relationship with art where I'll draw every day for two weeks and then I won't draw for two weeks. And I want to be more consistent. I want to have daily practice. I want to keep going and improve. It's a skill and I need to keep doing it. It's like playing the piano every day. So I'm hoping right now I'm only doing this once a week, which I'll talk about here in a second. But I want to eventually make this a every other day thing or whatever if I can but right now I work full-time so this is kind of a part-time thing for fun and for practice as I mentioned about doing this every week I'm really really going to try to have a consistent schedule of posting on Mondays because uh, I work Monday through Friday so Saturday and Sunday I can record the speed paint I can do the editing the voiceover all that and then overnight I can upload the video so I can put it out fresh Monday morning so hopefully I can stick to that it's only been two weeks we'll see how that goes back to why I'm doing this I'm so out of order I have notes written down and yet I'm still out of order I guess it's just because I'm not used to it so bear with me please uh, I want to get better also besides just improving my art I want to get better at character designing because I'm awful and I love drawing other people's characters because mine are so boring to me. They're not, they don't have anything special, I feel like. Like, their color palettes are okay, but like their clothing are super bleh, which I also want to get better at. That's why I'm doing this. And I think it's fun to take something that isn't a person and then see what traits from it you can make humanoid or keep not humanoid. So, for instance, like this one. The Ivysaur has leaves and the rose on the back. Instead, I did a uh, head wrap for the rose petal, and then the skirt is leaves. I just want to get better and push myself more creatively, so I figured why not little animal Pokemon. Plus, I've always loved Pokemon since I was very young. It has a special place in my heart, and most other people know Pokemon, so I think they'll enjoy seeing what I come up with or waiting for their Pokemon to come up, who knows. Uh, I want to work on posing more. I know the first two have been really, really basic and just straight head on, but throughout this I want to get better and I might even change up the styles a little bit sometimes because I know I've been doing chibi so far because I'm most comfortable with it, honestly. But I figured while I'm working on trying to get better at character designing, I'll just stick with chibi and then once I get uh, comfortable with that, then I'll move on to doing full bodies of like, I don't even know what the term would be. Not chibi. <laughs> Normal, I guess. Uh, and backgrounds, which again, I know I've been doing very, very simplistic, but I would love to take some of these characters and put them in a scene. You know, like the whole Bulbasaur line or the whole starter line and have a whole big scene of all the characters. I think that'd be so fun to try and do uh, if I can push past my favorite backgrounds because uh, backgrounds scare me a lot because I don't do them, but I need to. So that's why I want to do this. Another big thing for me, uh, body proportions and types and rest, not resting. <laughs> I was about to say like resting face but I meant same face syndrome where all the faces look the same so if you basically took away everything from a character they would all look exactly the same which I actually am a little proud of myself for this one because I changed her face up from the last one so her eyes are more of a 
slanted, angrier look. Like if you took away her hair and stuff, you would see, oh, uh, that's Ivysaur, not Bulbasaur. I could tell. I also wanted to see how similar I can keep designs while also pushing them. For instance, I wanted Ivysaur to still resemble Bulbasaur because they're in the same line, but still be her own character. Which I think I did pretty well with keeping like the palettes the same. But I know some Pokemon don't have the same palette, so it'll be fun to try to make more of a family resemblance without doing that, if I can. If not, eh, we'll see. <laughs> but that is what I'm thinking about right now for my own improvement with the series. I would love to make like a book or something involving it eventually. I don't know if I can do that, because I don't know if this is borderline fan art or not. I'll have to figure that out, but I think it's far enough away where it can be like Pokemon inspired because it's not just straight up Bulbasaur in a different style. That'd be cool. For now, I'm just selling prints on my shop, so if you want to get a print, they're in my shop. I sell 8.5x11 and 4x6, and I plan to do that for all of the Pokemon that I do. I made it a rule for myself in my head that I want to do these in order but I'm kind of regretting it a little bit but I think it'll be good for the series but I'm also like I really want to draw Eevee and Glaceon because they're my favorites and they're so far away but I have to get through everyone else first I mean I'll probably sketch them out because that's what I do and then get to them eventually which now that I'm thinking about it there's like 800 Pokemon and if I'm doing this weekly that's I'm not good at math on the fly, but I feel like this series will go on for a while. That's why I also want to try to do it like every other day or more often if I can. It just, I don't want to burn out on it either because I am really good at that. Getting super passionate about something, talking about it, doing one thing, and then falling completely off the horse. You can ask any of my friends, my coworkers that I talk to, literally. It's bad because I'll get them really excited and then I will just drop the ball so I'm really trying not to do that that's also why I'm doing these videos because I want to hold myself accountable be able to look back and see what I want to do what I said I would do um, so I thought that would be a good idea as to why I should make videos I feel like I'm such a muffle mouth like I don't know <laughs> if what I'm saying is coming across properly or if I'm keeping in the flow uh, I don't know I hope this gets easier it's not like super hard but to keep it going it's a little bit rough I feel like I have a billion thoughts and I want to throw them all out at the same time and then I do and then everything's gone and I'm like what am I doing <laughs> But I've had pretty good feedback from the people I've asked. Then again, they are people I know and they kind of have to be nice to me. They really don't, but they are, thankfully. And everyone said that it was okay. Maybe the mic quality could be a little bit better. So I tried asking my super techie cousin if uh, he could help me out with that. So hopefully the quality is a little bit better. I'm trying to work more on my editing. I know I'm not the greatest. I literally just bought this program probably a year ago and I've only touched it two or three times. I'm not great with uh, having a cool animated intro or how to really do anything. I just kind of take music from YouTube or non what not copyright sounds and use that. I use the default transitions. I don't even really mess with them. But I'm hoping I'll also learn how to edit a little bit better because in the future future, I want to do um, traditional work so I'll have to get a camera and do that but I think that'd be super fun and then I could get a webcam and have my face on the bottom left or right or beforehand or after I don't know how I want to do it yet that's a bit of ways I'm just kind of in my head right now but I am really excited about the future I know Maybe it's just because I'm in a good mood right now because I just finished this speed paint on time and I'm con being consistent even though it's only been like two days, but I am proud of myself anyway. I'm proud of how these uh, characters are turning out because honestly, I think I have a really bad character design, but these have been, uh, dare I say, impressing myself. Like, 
If I was making my own character and I had nothing to reference, it would be awful, but that's why I'm doing this, because I want to be able to do that. Just pick out something out of thin air and be like, oh, I want to make a character out of that tree over there. I mean, I do that in my head anyway, and I can see it in my head, but when I try to like make the character design, uh, it's another story. I need to get better at thumbnailing too. I just pick a design and go when it's like I should just try and make more and more and see which one looks the best, but sometimes the first is the best, sometimes it's not. I don't know. Uh, I also wanted to try and play with shading more because I really like like the cell shading type of style, but I also really love the highly rendered style like splash arts from video games have. Like That's kind of what I want to do uh, down the line would be video game art. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that, but I also kind of want to play with cell shading a bit. I don't know. Get a little in between, I guess. Find my own style, that's what I'm trying to do without trying to do it because the more you look for it, the more it gets away from you. If you just draw, it'll come, apparently. I'm sure I, I probably already have a style, but I just think it's my style is so generic. I feel like a lot of people have this chibi style, and I don't know. My coloring's a little different because I go for a more like rendered look instead of a um, cell shading or cutesy look. I mean, she's still cute, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't know. I, I just want to be happy with my art, and so I want to keep improving, getting better. Hopefully I don't sound redundant. I feel like when I start running out of things to say, I just start saying the same things over again, which I apologize for. Also, I probably sound really off-scripted, because guess what? I am. <laughs> I already talked through all, everything that I had written, so now I'm just kind of winging it until the end, which, hey. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I need to learn how to do this better. That's why I'm doing all this whole series. And I can't wait to look back on this on episode 50 or even 100 and be like, wow, I'm really cringy. <laughs> but that just shows that I've gotten better and I've improved. I was already listening to the first one and I was like, wow, that's really cringy. So I feel like I've already gotten a little better. Just keep it on going. Bear with me. I would love... Uh, constructive criticism in the comments. I'm always looking to get better if, if it's with my art, my editing, my audio, programs, anything. Um, I always just, I'm looking to go up and keep going because I don't want to be stuck where I'm at and I don't want to just flatline and whatever. I just, <laughs> just want to do things. <laughs> just want to make art, make people happy, make myself happy. That's all, that's all I ever want. Anyway, we're wrapping up here, and she's just about done, and I hope you like the finished product. I'm pretty happy with it. I think she and the bubbles are really cute, and I kind of want to print it out myself and put them all on my wall, but that might be a little crazy. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, evening, morning, night, whatever you might be. And see you later.